Hello, welcome back to Rivo Tech. Today we've got some tips and tricks for you, Google Stadia. Uh, it's just a few little tips to just make your life a little bit easy with Stadia and maybe show you some things that you didn't know. Uh, if you like the video, you find it helpful, drop a like on it. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe. Let's get into it. This one is something I learned from Reddit. You can play on the Chromecast with, well, definitely an Xbox controller. Pretty sure it worked with PS4 as well. So if you've got one of these that come with a Samsung phone for free, you could obviously buy them as well. So it's USB-A to USB-C. Then you need a USB-A to micro USB or whatever your controller's got on it. So you plug that lead into there like that. Look, the USB-C into the Stadia controller, like that, and then the Xbox controller with the micro USB. Then you have a setup like this, and you can control Stadia. With your Xbox controller, you see that? This would be very good, and it's actually amazing that they've implemented it. You could use the Xbox controller that's made for like disabled or dis people with disabilities, people that are paralyzed. That controller with the I think it's called the accessibility controller. That so now they can play Stadia as well. All right, so this one's pretty much a two in one. It's going to enhance your well, Stadia on your PC and also you can get these shortcuts so right if we go to Chrome so this is a standard Stadia layout in Chrome you have these two side by side games you can get these extensions you got Stadia Plus and Stadia Enhanced I will link them both in the description so you can pick which one you want based on personal preferences but they do quite a lot of different things like you can change what resolution that you want, uh, you can monitor streams, you can change how many games you want in a row. So we'll install it. Uh, Stadia Enhanced is the one that allows you to get the desktop icons. There are a few more as well, but these are the two that I prefer the most. So we'll just refresh it. And here you go, we've got Pro now. That wasn't there before. We've got this little drop down box. So you've got grid size five, you can change that. See it change at the bottom. I prefer it on five. And you've got all these options that you can pick from. So you can change your stream, what codec it uses, what resolution. So you can force it into a resolution. So I'm playing on a 1080p monitor, I can force it into 4K. So it will look just that little bit more crisp. Uh, if you want the desktop icons, you can click this little uh, download button. But if we go, uh, let's go, what do I actually play? I go super hot. So download that. Well, not download, do the icon for it. So you can either have this style icon or this style. Can't really tell much in with the super hot. It makes the it's got the gradient of the Stadia logo. Uh, literally click create shortcut to your device. If this isn't here and it says it's already installed, you can click this little plus at the top. So click that, click install. It'll give you a little pop up. You can close that, minimize that, and there you go. It's super hot. So I can just put it in my little fences folder. And there you go. You got a shortcut. So you can double click on it, it'll launch, you just full screen it, and there you go. Okay, and you're in your game. It's a lot quicker than going into Chrome. If you haven't got it as your home page or whatever, type in Stadia. It's just boot up your computer, double click on the desktop, done. All right, so another good one is being able to use your Google Assistant. I've got a speaker in the corner over there. 
to launch games on Stadia. So as long as you've got your Chromecast Ultra, a Google Assistant speaker, you can go, OK, Google, play Far Cry 5 on Living Room TV 2. Cry 5 on Living Room TV 2. And there you go, it launches. So you can come in from work, go and get yourself a drink. By the time you come back, it'll be already on for you. This is quite a handy one. If you hold down the Stadia button, it will actually turn your TV on for you. As long as it's in standby mode and your Chromecast is externally powered. There you go, so it's turning on. There you go, straight into your account. It goes, it will automatically switch straight to the Chromecast as well. And then you're playing. If any of them tips helped you and you found them useful, be really appreciated. You drop a like on the video, subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching and check out my other videos.